obviously, I would the first to admit I'm very light on the Boston mob, and I would love to love to know more. Yeah, the Boston mob growing up was a lot bigger than our crew that Correct. Were, where we were. Um, they had, and they were uh, an impressive uh, mafia crew. They were the patriarchs. Yeah. The Angelos was uh, Jerry was the under five brothers, right? right? Yeah. 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 And so Providence didn't, I, to me, I think uh, Boston was, and I, I think everyone will agree, that was a lot stronger and dominant of uh, a mafia crew than Providence, even though the boss and they had their base there. <clears throat> uh, Raymond Patriarca was born in Worcester, the old man. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah. He was, a, by the way, a legend. And the more I read about yeah, him. I mean, that guy was the uh, a legend. Yeah. Um, when he passed and the son took over, you know, growing up, I was in prison at a young age, yeah. so yeah, the um, I always hung out with Boston guys. Yeah, a lot of you know, especially being in prison at 28 yeah. years old and uh, around in the state prison and meeting yeah. all them. So Boston was more of uh, caught my attention. Yeah. Bigger city, I was always going there. I liked it. Um, not much for Providence. I didn't really mess with Providence till uh, you know the 90s. I used to always go with Bruno and me. Yeah, um, you know. Louis Monacchio and oh, wow. uh, a bunch of other, you know, active, you know, there's a couple of Maddie, yeah. uh, um, a lot of other guys. Yeah. We, we used to go out there and Maddie um, Guglielmo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, but they were a lot smaller crew. The Boston crew yeah. had the, uh, especially back in the day with the Boston crew with, uh, and Julos were there. I mean, they had some powerhouse, uh, captains, um, like J.R. Russo, yeah. Larry Zanino. I met I, when we used to go there. I used to we used to have dinner there all the time, and we used to have different crews. And there was a lot of infighting when I was in the '90s. And they were one family, but there was different factions of that family. There was, uh, you know, so I, we would be with one crew. And <clears throat> at this time, I think uh, Carmen took over. Yeah, Carmen was the boss in the mid '90s. So when I was going down there, we would sit with him and. But there was another faction that hated him, and then there was another faction that was creating with Bobby, and and then if you talk to this crew, they were motherfucking that crew, and this mm -hmm. crew they hated. They didn't want to talk about. Which that never would have happened but, if the old man Petrarca was around. I think afterwards it kind of went to shit because I think there wasn't any good leadership after that point. With who? After so after old man Petrarca dies, I think eighty four. Well, no, I think there was still. I mean, the son obviously yeah. wasn't the good leadership, but yeah. I heard it but now. there was still. The, um, um, uh, the guys were still uh, capable and oh, still course, it was a, a serious crew. Course, it just they had uh, the boss. He was more of like uh, I don't want to say Paul Castellano type because Paul was a you know a gangster too. He killed yeah. a lot of people, but Raymond was more business. Yeah. And uh, he the what what kept Raymond in uh, that boss um, seat was his underboss Billy Grasso, which uh, was, was in Connecticut, Connecticut. Yeah. right? Right. Yeah. And uh, that's he what was kept everybody on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I ranked him right up with any of the, uh, like, a New York type boss. Oh, wow, uh, you know? yeah. Um, he was good with, like, the Columbos, um, <laughs> good with the Patriarchs, good with you guys at the gym of Visa. He, 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 to me, he was, like, a gentleman's gangster. In well, yeah, of... he wasn't a gentleman. No, no, oh, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Yeah, you have the mobologist, yeah. and you have the real guy. That's why you got to connect. Of lot of stories with that you know he tried to come in and, and you know do some extortions in our area yeah. you know with that so i have a lot of stories got with, it you know with him especially with, in a, with my own family with oh, him. Jesus. and uh <laughs> i can't um, wait I can't yeah but he wait. was a, he was a wild man i got so yeah. many stories with him and uh the things that he did and a lot of people that i grew up with in the um the harford area especially but throughout connecticut had dealings with him and those are going to make for some really good stories uh, with Billy. But that's what yeah. really kept, like, the butt. So when they killed him, yeah. they knew they had to kill him. 